let's start by talking about what West Virginia has been through in the last couple of years. And Mountaineer fans, you know what I'm talking about, and I've talked at length with Dana Holgerson about this. He has been waiting for this team. He's been waiting for this group of, of older veteran leaders to have a chance to do something special, and they're doing it. He used to tell me two years ago, he's like, hey, you know, we'll try our best this year, but two years from now, Joel, you watch out. We're going to be really good. Last year, he's like, yeah, we've got a shot. We're going to be good offensively. Will's a great player, but wait until next year when we're really good, when our leaders are better and they've got all that experience uh, and, and those veterans can make plays for us on the outside, in particular a guy like David Sills. And guess what? Now it's time. He's in November after waiting for two years years for this group to make a championship run there was no question in his mind nor should there be in any of our minds about whether he was going to go for it on the two-point conversion or not he told the offense before they went on the field you're going to go down the field you're going to score and then we're going to go for two i love it i love that mentality that's the way that they played they played with a chip on their shoulder and they did it in the face of some adversity with their starting left tackle uh could just getting ejected from the game early in the game if I'm on the playoff committee, uh, I'm watching this game, and there's no possible way I can justify continuing to keep West Virginia down below some of these teams, in particular a two-loss Florida. West Virginia fans, your team is fantastic.